Hello guys, Technique here and in this video we got a really surprising ROM which is MIUI V6 uh, version which was updated today or yesterday and uh, I decided to flash it because I'm really interested in the ROMs like this. Uh, this version here is working on top of Android 4.4.4 KitKat and uh, what I have noticed is really stable and uh, it also is based on Google Play Edition M7. Uh, you will notice this by tapping the camera. It's the Google camera, which is from um, the Google Play Edition M7. And let's talk about the apps and settings that come with this ROM because it's not like the usual Android. It has the skin, now the icons, theme, and everything here changed like you will find on iOS, iOS. Uh, and uh, there's much to talk about. The first is the uh, the gallery itself it really looks nice and um, pretty much it's uh, stable fast nothing edited but simple layout like on iOS uh, 8 or 7 as you want the next is the music and um, pretty much it's really really uh, simple and uh, it just looks nice guys this is really a good one um, and uh, if you didn't try this ROM, go ahead and do it because uh, it looks nice and uh, it doesn't lag so much before. Uh, also, you have the theme engine, which is uh, very useful. You can go ahead and uh, download the themes, which are in Chinese language, and I had no idea when I was booting uh, the first time. This ROM is a nightmare for someone who doesn't like Chinese language because uh, the first boot was a bad experience for me, the best and uh, the worst thing I noticed on this ROM. But overall, it's a really good ROM. In settings, you will notice that it's a white theme, which has some of the settings from iOS style, like the wallpaper, do not disturb function, as well as the sound, uh, which is changed here, as you can see. The ringer volume and uh, the sound volume is also changed. You got some really good animation while scrolling. Uh, you will be familiar with this on the iOS. Next is the App Store, uh, which is me UI's own, uh, and uh, I have no idea about the changing of language because I could not do anything. <laughs> I just can't understand this maybe you can but here you can see the top apps of this Chinese uh, app market um, I don't know guys maybe you will but I don't understand a bit from this and uh, I forgot to mention that you have no app uh, recent apps menu which is uh, really good but at the same time it's really headache for someone who doesn't know because you will have the home button, back button on HTC One M7. It's a really good thing they don't have the recent panel. In here you will find me, you uh, account, uh, and I don't know why it's needed. You have the mail, uh, which is also really nice. And by the way, the keyboard is uh, also nice. You have the white theme, but I think you can change it in the settings. And there are a bunch, bunch of some settings, so the Chinese language which I wasn't able to change but it really looks nice uh, the security is also here uh, you can check the condition and uh, you, s you can clean the cache and other uh, misbehaving apps from here and everything you don't have the menu <laughs> it's the also it should be to told that you don't have the app drawer but you can download the custom launcher and uh, it will be fine for you but on the default launcher you don't have an app drawer next is the notes uh, and you can create some notes scratch something and you can also have some pictures on it next is the weather and uh, the weather uh, is really nice here you got this really good animation as well as good look and the theme which is uh, I think the best I could find on any ROM uh, anyways this is the weather app next did the mm, I don't know what it is it seems like a browser but uh, I don't know <laughs> maybe you but I don't understand you got the gaming uh, somewhat not so understandable language <laughs> I know I don't know if it's Japanese or the Chinese but 
I can just understand it. And there's no option to change the language, or I could find I couldn't find it. Anyways, let's skip this. You have the more apps like Kuai Pen and Weibo here. Can't know. I don't know about these guys. Maybe you will understand it. And uh, yeah, guys, on the first boot you don't have the root access. So if you want to have the root access, just flash the super user update zip from recovery. I use a uh, Team Win Project Recovery, but you can go ahead and use any recovery you want. Uh, and one thing, guys, this ROM really looks uh, smooth and fast and sort of better friendly. You won't even notice that it's running on 4.4.1 version of Android. If you don't go to Settings, which is uh, sliding the notification drawer, going to Settings, and uh, after you go to About Phone, you will actually notice that uh, it has the model number as well as the Android version here which is the old style KitKat and uh, pretty much guys this is it this is the MIUI UI V6 on uh, HTC One M7 if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm making more videos like this thumbs up and share to your friends so they will know how uh, good ROM it is because it really looks nice uh, aside the apps that I couldn't understand there are really good apps like this uh, I did not show you guys but it would be a very long video and so this is the MIUI V6 review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.